Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Forza Motorsport. Today is episode number 28. If you guys do enjoy the video, make sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and let's get into the content. This video was streamed live on Twitch. Come watch us live with the link in the description. We are here with another recording session today. We're finally back on Twitch after, well, a week and a bit of not being able to do any streams. Uh, and today we're going to uh, do as many events as possible as well. We're going to try and get around five or six episodes recorded today. Quite a lot of stuff. Uh, we're going to start off with the Club NSX event. Um, we're taking the Japanese version of the NSX this time because I wanted to mix it up a bit. So we've got the Honda NSX rather than the Acura. Uh, starting off with Road Atlanta, Sunset Peninsula, Silverstone, New York, Road America, and then finishing off with Test Track Infield. Let's go. All right, we are here around Road Atlanta. Let's go. I really cannot stress how much value I've gotten out of this little dongle so far for these controllers because it is so much better. It's so much easier as well to drive these cars. You don't really realize how much latency an Xbox 360 controller actually has until you try one of these things that has like little to no latency. Not too bad. Good start so far, though. Good start. We're definitely going to storm the pack during this uh, championship, though. I think this is for our love. Yo, West End with a raid of three. Yeah, alert hasn't gone off. There it is. Holy shit, that's loud. That's very loud. <laughs> oh my god. Welcome, everyone. Rafe199, thank you for the follow. And lead sut as well. Thank you very much. How's everyone doing? This is my uh, first stream back, by the way, in a week and a half after I lost access to my Twitch account. <laughs> How was your stream, uh, West End? Hopefully it was good. Hopefully it was good, man. I am a loss. For our love, I cry. For our love, I cry. Mine's going really well. Thank you so much for asking. Ah! Ah! I'm off the road. I was like, why was that so loud? It's because my actual music is really quiet. So it was a huge contrast. Oh, cheers phone. My phone has to notify me about something. I've got no clue what it is. No worries. Saw you online and thought, yeah, Raid Mechanic. No worries. Well, uh, I appreciate it. Thank you very much. For our love...
Find myself believing. Yo, that's a pretty cool emote, though. Who's it by? Oh, is it Mr. Swansea? <laughs> That's brilliant. By crying, I survive. Got a new phone, S21 Ultra, so I can keep up with typing and stuff. That's pretty cool, actually. I've got a, um... A52... S... 5G? I can't remember if it's got an S in it or not. But I know it's the A52 5G. So... Englishman in Swansea. Yeah, so I've seen him a lot on my TikTok. Um... I've been following him for a while anyways. But yeah. iPhone 13 is good. iPhones are good if you know nothing about technology. Because they are... They have a target audience. Definitely. They have a target audience and they're built to be simple. But can do a lot. Whereas an Android are built to do even more things, but they're not as simple. Yeah, I didn't... I didn't realise he had a Twitch, to be honest. That is pretty cool, though. Like, I will always say, an iPhone is built to be simple. And it's built in such a way where it's so closed off that you cannot make a mistake. The chances of you ruining an iPhone is kind of large, uh, small, compared to an Android phone. I'm his mod, so it'd be cool to see you in there. Yeah, I'll, de I'll definitely stop by a bit more now. I used to comment quite a lot on his TikToks as well back before. Because I, I remember there was a little incident that happened. I honestly could not care what it was. But um, it was after that that he closed down his um, TikTok comments. Um, I think someone was like stalking him or something. I'm not 100% sure. Um, and yeah, obviously he closed down his TikTok comments. So I haven't commented since then. But that's a bad idea drinking and driving. <laughs> yeah. And there we go. 814. Not too bad, actually. I'm going to save that replay. Not bad. 24 grand. Next race. All right. Rightio. Sunset Peninsula. I think this is, yeah. You can tell when it's the speedway route because it's always nighttime on the speedway route in this game. Which is kind of funny. I don't think this game had proper night and day cycles, so it was always just um, a set time for every racetrack. I think as well they had the same thing in pretty much all of the Forza games as well. I don't think they ever had um, day and night. 
cycles. <laughs> Sorry, I had to get that one in there. I toss and turn, I keep stressing my mind, mind. Cause day and night, the lonely stoner seems to free his mind at night. He's all alone through the day and night. Day and Night is such a good song, honestly. The, both the original and the remix version is is a good song. I think Day and Night though was another one that got claimed up by Ministry of Sound. It's really weird though. Ministry of Sound can make an artist famous. But everyone hates Ministry of Sound because of how controlling they are. Stuff like that. Uh, yeah, this is the Honda NSX um, from 1994, I believe. Or 1998. One of them. But yeah, the, the thing is with this game, you've got both Honda NSXs and both Acura NSXs as well. Which makes it kind of complicated. Not bad so far, though. I am looking forward to playing uh, Motorsport 3, because at some point, one of those Motorsport 3 episodes, we are 100 million percent going to be driving the Lamborghini Reventum. Guaranteed. I think they're the same car. Both the Acura and the Honda ones. The only difference is the badge. But I, th I think it's really weird because you obviously have Acura which makes Honda vehicles under an American brand name. But they still sell Hondas in America. That's why Acura really confuses me. Like, at least with, like, the Opal situation, because in the UK, they can't sell Opals as Opals. They sell them as Voxels. There you go. Bum, bum, ba ba bum. Yeah, pretty much, but the thing is with Honda and Acura, they're a little bit mushed together. They're almost still the same thing, which is why it can be a little bit complicated. Oh, shit. I was focusing too much on the stream overlay rather than the actual game. Today. There we go. 426, not too bad. 23 grand for that. I'll take it. Alright, Silverstone. Let's go. That was a good start so far. Very nice. There we go. Nice. Uh, West End. Uh, what what platforms do you use, by the way? Are you like a PlayStation person, aren't you? Either PlayStation or PC. I can't remember. Whoa, we're halfway there. Whoa. Donkey in a chair. Okay, that's a very good start so far. We're going to be streaming for about six or seven hours today as well. So, this is going to be a long one. 
And this is just a normal stream. We're going to be doing a subathon on uh, Wednesday. Not bad. Good start so far. I want to see if I can get the lap time down to about <clears throat> 204. Oh, COVID. It's not good. <laughs> I think I'm at the aftermath part now. I think I've got... I've got a really weird throat. It's not... Uh, comfortable. Meow. All right. Now oh, I've pressed the wrong button. How have I pressed the triangle button for that? Jesus, it's really hard to drive one-handed whilst also wanting to cough up half a lung. Maybe there's someone... Alright, not bad. Here we go. Maggots and Beckett's is such an interesting corner. Because you can never go flat out. It's a corner that looks like there's a potential of it going... I mean... You think that last section of Maggots and Beckett's is a right angle corner. But it really does not look like it. <clears throat> does not look like it at all. Not too bad. It looks like that um, 204 time is going to be a bit unreasonable, though. <clears throat> I doubt we're going to get anywhere close.
I think as well I'm going to change over to some culture shock music. Which is pretty good. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Yo, Nissan Skyliner, welcome back. <coughs> How you been? I, myself, have not been very well. I've had the COVID. <laughs> yeah, I've been okay. It's just COVID's... I'm, I'm getting over the last of the COVID at the moment, so... It's pretty rough. But um, we're going to be doing a load of Forza content today, a load of Forza content tomorrow, because I need to catch up. Because I have missed quite a few days. And then on Wednesday, I believe we're starting a subathon stream. And then on, uh, I want to say Friday... I'm going to do another Forza stream. If the, if the subathon's still going, it'll be included in that. If the subathon's not going, then it'll just be normal. Just a Forza stream. And then Saturday is the late night racing content. So commentary and stuff like that. Not too bad. Saturday is going to be fun though. I'm looking forward to doing commentary for the late night racing crew. Oh, and we managed to get that 204 by the way that I said we wouldn't be able to get. So uh, not bad. All right, let's try again. Attempt number two. Numero dos. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. Oh, okay. That's not ideal. I do think I need to get some uh, form of song requests feature. For the stream. Because I think if we have like custom songs. And then people can like. Donate to add songs to the queue or whatever. I think that's a good option. Bum, 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 bum. Out. Bum bum. Ba -dum bum 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 
There we are. There we go. Moving on to lap number two. Yeah, I, I, I think I might end up looking into um, Song Request. I think that's a good idea, because... There you go. Through the chicanes. And around the corner. There you go, not bad. Cool to go. There we go. Spinning around, move out of my way. I know you feel me cause you're looking at me. Maybe. <laughs> rem, 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 rem. We got a couple more corners to go.
There you go. Not too bad. Seven minutes and 50. All right, here we go. Road America with the NSX. This is gonna be uh, quite fun. Woohoo. There we go. We go by the end of this month on youtube we will have uploaded like episode 46 47 i think is going to be the may 31st video which is crazy uh, 46 or 47 And I mean, by that point, we're probably coming up to the end of this game anyways. Because we're compressing a lot of these um, events into one episode, rather than two or three like before. Not bad. There we go. 6.066 second lead, which is uh, pretty good. If I do say so myself. Oh, way too wide there. I think it was going over that hump that just... Threw the car off balance. Oh, yeah. There you go. I just realized after this one, we've got, um, what's it called? The other one. Completely forgotten the name. We'll go with it.
There we go. Two nineteen is not a bad lap time for this track, though. There's some weird brake lights I've just noticed. The way that this game does brake lights. But then again, majority of these lights are flat textures anyway, so I'm not surprised. It's just weird how they've done it. Bing, bing, bing. No clue what that was. There you go. Uh, seven minutes and seven seconds. All right, save the replay. Let's go to the uh, final event, which is going to be test track. Lovely. Here we go. This is the final event. This is going to be the long one as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, I messed up big time. Horrendous first corner. But uh, so far, not much damage. Do 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 do, banana -na -na Not bad, not bad so far. Yeah. There we go. Headpin section done. 
The hairpins are like one of the worst parts of this track. It's just so slow. But it makes sense why they exist because it's a test track and you've got to test at the slower speeds as well. There we go. Not bad. Not bad, motherfucker. Yeah, not bad. There we go. That's only the first lap as well. That's ridiculous. I don't know why. I was under the impression we'd already done a lap. Sometimes this, this track you just sort of zone out. Because of how long it is. Ram. There we go. Go through your choices. Ah, uh, come on. I still don't understand why they're doing this track with this many laps it should only be two this is why i think it's pretty poor um event design from this game just because of the fact that there was no thought between the events for this There you go. Uh, uh, um.
Yo, Matrix, what's up? Welcome. How you been? PP21. Has it um been released? Or... I think more than likely I'll, um... Since yesterday. Ah! Yes, that's probably why. I haven't looked at it yet. I'll, uh... Do, 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 do. I'll do it for Wednesday. Because tomorrow's more for the content. I've only just got my Twitch back, so i got to play as much Forza over the next couple of days, so... But more than likely on Wednesday, I'll probably have a look into it. Does it have a RTX patch as well? I, I assume it's for a TDU2, isn't it? Yeah. As long as it's got an RTX patch built in, then it should be fine. Well, if it's more stable, I'll take it. <laughs> I think I'm done with this jazzy drum and bass now. I mean, this isn't even drum and bass at this point. This is just pure jazz. DJ, DJ, DJ Customs? No? Oh, yeah, okay. I didn't realize he was streaming it. Fair enough. I'll, um, I'll have a look in a bit then. Is it? Does it add any extra cars as well? I assume it's just like uh, a replacement so that you can get online back. Oh no! I did that so well. I avoided a lot of damage then. How does that work then? Because if it's online, like a multiplayer thing, wouldn't it? Wouldn't adding cars sort of mess it up for other people? Hmm, fair enough. I assume they would have thought about that anyways, but yeah, if, if if you're adding custom files and then the game forces you to download it, I feel like that's a massive security risk. So if that's how they're doing it, I feel like they've got a recipe for disaster. If you have to download it off of a specific website, then yeah, that's fine. Yeah, so that's the thing. If the mods are... If it's a little bit like Fallout, where you get all your mods from Nexus mods, pretty much. Or something like that, then yeah, that should be fine. But if it's like... Random mods you can get from anywhere... Um, because again, anyone could make a mod, or make a mod. Turbo Duck, yeah. That's the thing though, if, if it's... Because for a game to work in multiplayer requires everyone else to have the mods, otherwise it will just not work. <coughs> oh, Jesus. So for that to happen, that would probably then mean... Someone could quite easily make a mod and force everyone on the server to run that mod for the server to work. And it, it, 
I don't know. I think mods while running a server is a recipe for disaster, no matter what it is, whether it's Minecraft, unless it's managed. So, vanilla players won't see your car in game. Oh, so if it's like that, then yeah, that's fine. There we go. Not bad. We got the win. Let's see what car we got. The uh, number 42 real-time racing NSX. Not bad. I like the look of that, actually. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.